guys! So, today, as you can see, I'm in my nicest tie because it's Fancy Friday. And such fineries mean that we have to have an extra special topic to talk about. So today we're going to talk about things that never get old in software development. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, uh, name something that doesn't get old when you in programming just in general. And I think this is a good question. And I think that the best uh, answer I can give to this is that hype, my friend. Hype never gets old in programming. It doesn't matter what it is. I swear to you, it, it doesn't matter. It can be absolutely anything. And there will always, always be someone at the company or on the forums or something like that that just go, you know what, this is genius. We should immediately adopt it and we're, we're supposed, we, we should start writing code in this fashion now. Because I don't know what, I, I really don't know what it is. Programmers seems to have this thing where it, it, all it really takes is for you to give them a good sales pitch about some cool idea. It doesn't even have to be proven. It doesn't even have to prove a damn thing. Like all it has to be is something that seems a little bit clever or a little bit different that pulls them out of their boring, miserable Java workflows that they have or C sharp or whatever workflow they have. Actually, I'm not, I'm going to take that back. It's usually the Java people who have the boring, boring, hard workflows because C sharp people usually really love .NET for like, you know, but that's a whole different other story. But for most of us, this is exactly how it goes. And then you have these people convince themselves that this thing here is going to change everything. And then we wait until they say these magical words. But I will be honest, it's really only the, to me, it seems to be the beginner programmers or the rookie programmers who say this, but they always say these words. This is going to take over now. Or this is going to take over. Yes, that is what they say. Those magical words. They, this is going to take over. And I yes, we see it seems to me that for every I don't know, let's call it 10 or 100 hypes out there, maybe one thing actually becomes truly disruptive and actually makes a difference in most people's workflow in any meaningful fashion. But it is mostly a process, an endless process of hype arrives, programmer gets excited about it, programmer adds thing to code base, hype dies, legacy starts forming, hype starts again, and then it continues. And then there's an inner slope or an inner path to all of this where Frederick just continuously feels the pain of slower development processes because he because someone in the company decided that this is a really cool idea and we should just add it in and then we need to support it forever and you know we, we don't clean it up after the next type comes along because then we're already invested in it so we can't move this anyway and so all the for that for for that one innovation that might really be useful we have a hundred legacy parts of the system just to achieve that one single improvement. And if we're really lucky, it's something that is truly disruptive. If we're unlucky, which is usually the case, go figure, right? We're just seeing some very subjective improvement to some person's workflow. So for everybody else, it becomes more, more knowledge that we need to, to, to have and more stuff that we need to keep, keep around just for the sake of someone being able to add some syntactic sugar or have a convenience method or something like that. And this never gets old. I'm, it's, uh, I, it, it happens all the time, all the time. And I don't think that it's ever gonna, I don't think it will ever get to a point where this stops. I never, when I first started programming, I really truly never, ever, ever thought that I would say these words. But in a sense, I feel like quite a lot of software developers act as people who sit, who buy stuff off their television, people who, ha, you know, 
it's 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 exactly how it feels. TV shop or these these commercial networks where they just sit and sell you shit on the TV, and you they sit there and just mass consume worthless shit for the most part, like worthless products that uh, makes some type of promise most of the time, and then their lives aren't actually improving all that much. I would I will argue, or I will assume. Anywho. That is, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much my thought on, on this topic. So what I want you to take away from this is that, at least what I believe, the thing that never gets old in software development is hype. Hype never gets, it never dies. It always continues forever and ever and ever. And the impact of hype is that you invest in something. You can think of it actually as making really bad investments. You basically invest into in a stock that you think has potential, and then it drops, the stock fall, like just stabilizes, and there's really no return on investment. But you need, but and then you can't get rid of the, rid of the thing. You can't, like nobody's going to take it off your hands, and nobody's going to um, like give you back the investment that you just made. And you have to support it forever, pretty much. And then at some point, someone further down the line is going to go. Oh, this is so cumbersome and this is so ugly. Why do we have all this legacy code? Yeah, it's a real mystery how we got to this situation. I, I wonder, I, I wonder someone can somebody can figure out that the connection between between these two blocks: legacy code and hype. Legacy code and hype. Legacy code and adding things to the code base that doesn't have a proven value. Have a great day.